Girl Gets Fit, otherwise known as Takesha Sharon Nikki, and I am coming in with another Bariatric Boulevard Fitness Coach episode. Uh, this episode, we are going to be speaking about pre and post workout meals, as well as motivation. So, let's go. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I did when I first was researching this, because for me, I just try to eat something that's that I've been eating that works for me, that's going to help me maintain my workouts, and that you know involves simple and complex carbs. Um, one of the great things to do prior to working out is one, eat an hour before you work out, so that your body you know digests. The food that's within you and so you don't feel nauseous or feel full while you're working out um, and two is to excuse me make sure that what I'm eating is going to benefit me during my workout so those are some of the things that I think about prior to um, working out and also prior to when I'm actually meal prepping for the day so um, one of the <clears throat> excuse me suggestions on fitnessmagazine.com uh, is actually oatmeal and fresh fruit. Now from what it says here, the oatmeal uh, is your workout buddy. And from what it <clears throat> provides is a release of sugar um, that is going to go into your bloodstream and adding the fruit will help to increase the full content of your pre-workout snack. So it will keep you hydrated as well as get those complex and simple carbs in there so that you'll be on a slow and steady pace for your workout. Uh, so you don't want to have a mass amount of uh, sugar prior to working out. Like I know there's a lot of products out there that have like this great amount of caffeine or great amount of sugar and you just, you're buzzed and then you fizzle out like 30 minutes into the workout. So you really want to just keep an eye on that and make sure that what you're putting in your body is going to actually help you sustain your workout. Um, great uh, so post-workout meals would consist of protein dense uh, protein uh, as well as uh, some great carb selections. So that would be your fruits and or excuse me, your vegetables, um, not fruits. That was prior to. Um, so a great combo would be like grilled chicken breast, about three three ounces of grilled chicken breast, along with some brown rice. Now, I got this at Kroger for 89 cents. So, um, it's not organic, but it is brown rice. So, um, it is a low cost and actually, and actually, I always got British there, uh, and actually great combo to your protein. I see a lot of bodybuilders do that. They'll have like brown rice and chicken, or they'll have salmon and sweet potatoes, or they'll have brown, excuse me, or they'll have chicken and broccoli. They have some sort of combo, uh, like I just mentioned before, that is going to provide them protein, um, at least 20 to 30 grams of protein, and um, giving them some great options vegetable wise, like with the, uh, you can do like a, a vegetable medley, you can do broccoli, you can do sweet potatoes, or you can do brown rice. So really think about those things, really think about getting the proteins necessary to recover after you've worked out and torn your muscles to shreds, uh, giving yourself some great recovery options. You can also do a recovery um, protein shake. So I use Naturaid Vegan Smart. Um, it gives me 20 grams of protein. I put a little bit of flax as well as chia seeds and some fruit and that really helps me after my workout. I also do that before um, in the morning. I have a great protein smoothie uh, going into work so that kind of sustains me for the morning and then I'll do um, a yogurt and some nuts or I will do uh, some fruit and nuts just complex and simple carbs prior to the workout. So that's that's the key, you know, getting that in your system so that you know that you'll be able to, again, maintain that workout. And that's gonna maximize your workout. Okay, so those are some ideas, some tips on getting ready for your workout and also recovery mode after your workout, food-wise. 
Um, motivation. So how do we stay motivated? How do we even start motivating ourselves to working out? Well, you have to think about some things that are going to be beneficial to you. So for me, I say, okay, well, I want to increase my muscle strength, or I want to look a certain way by this point, or I want to get back into those size zero jeans, or I want to, you know, build my endurance. I want to be able to run, you know, 3.5 miles by the end of, you know, I don't know, February of 2017. I want to be able to do those things. Um, so those are the things that you can think about that will possibly help you with your motivation um, as far as maintaining motivation as well as getting started with motivating um, or motivation. So those are things. I mean, the, the surface things can be like clothes. They can be like, you know, maybe impressing a certain girl or, or guy. Um, <laughs> Those are some surface things, but they don't last. Those things are kind of superficial as well as they just don't help uh, in the long run. So your, your true motivating factors are going to be long-term things, and that's going to be bettering my health, maybe endurance, you know, keeping myself um, going as I'm trying to walk that one or two miles or as I'm trying to run that half marathon. You know, sometimes putting yourself into situations will motivate you. So if you say, okay, I'm going to run a race in the summer of 2017, I need to get started. I need to start getting ready for this um, actual race. So that can be a motivating factor. Being there for your kids, you know, being healthier for your kids can be another motivating factor. Um, there's so many things out there, but you have to focus on what's going to make me happy. What is going to make me proud of me? What is going to keep me going so I can see the goal line and be extremely excited that I made it there and also extremely proud of myself that I was able to endure my race, right? So those are some things to think about, some things to kind of get you going along your day. Um, if you have any suggestions for future work, workouts or for future um, talk talk <laughs> videos, please let me know and I will definitely uh, get to them. Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching this video and again, in this very moment I'm king In this very moment I slay Goliath with a sling This very moment I bring Put it on everything That I will retire with the ring And I will retire with the crown Yes, no I'm not lucky, I'm blessed Yes, clap for the heavyweight champ Me, but I couldn't do it all alone We, young money crazy Who about and daisy Southside Jamaica Queens and it's crazy Cause I'm still hood Hollywood couldn't change me Shout out to my haters Sorry that you couldn't raise me Ain't being cocky, they just vindicated Don't believe that when we done This moment will be syndicated I don't know This might just remind me of Everything they deprive me of Put your drinks up It is a celebration Every time we link up We done take everything They could think of Greatness is what we wanna bring up yeah.